name is Mark Stecker, and I'm a Senior Learning and Development Specialist at Involve Media. Today we're going to be learning about navigating the Learner Dashboard and Adobe Learning Manager. So let's take a look at the Learner Dashboard. From the main page, you can see once you're logged in as a learner that you have the My Learning List. This is a snapshot of the various courses that you have enrolled in. It's not a comprehensive list, but it lists some of the main courses, and you can always scroll through and see the other courses that are in your My Learning list. This is also available from the My Learning uh, listing from this navigation page if you want to see it from this interface. You can also see that there's a social feed that shows up based on some of the social learning that is accessible from the main page. So and that pushes me to the social learning page where you can share content and post message board messages and interact with other learners. Going back to the main page, again, you can access all this by selecting the home button. Um, you also can get points and badges based on courses or other learning uh, assets that you've been completing. If you want to get more information, click on that. And you can access what's known as the leaderboard, which shows based on your colleagues how far along you are in comparison. If you select the home button again, you go back to the trusty home page. If you scroll down past that, you'll notice that there's a recommended based on your areas of interest. So your areas of interest include the skills that you're interested in obtaining through taking courses, and other learning objects available through Adobe Learning Manager. So you can see that there's a pretty comprehensive list. I can click this button here and it shows a number of different skills and areas of interest. For example, if I hover over HR skill specialty, I see that there's a beginner, intermediate, and advanced skill level and I've achieved most of beginner, all of intermediate, and none of advanced. Um, so this gives you an idea based on courses you've taken, maybe a certification that have skills linked to them, how far you are along in achieving these different skills and based on what your uh, learning goals are related to your skills. Let's go ahead and go back to a version of the home page and look at courses recommended based on peer activity. Suppose Jan and Fred are taking a course and I'd like to check out what they're looking at. So I might go to a course under again recommended based on peer activity click explore on the thumbnail and register my interest. And this is sent to my manager who can then review my request and decide whether to allow me to participate or not. Going back to the home page once again, I can also see that there's different catalogs at the bottom. Those are also available from this link here, but if I decide I wanna learn more about, hey, what's available in the main catalog, I'll click here and I'll see that search results are already default to the main catalog and I can scroll through and see what I'm, I'm interested in. Courses that are rated both based on individuals will have this star rating here. And if I hover my mouse over this item, it shows that there's a rating of four out of three users. So I might be interested in checking this out. If so, uh, then I can go ahead and enroll. For one more information about courses, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the catalog link here. And from here, I can see that from the title, in addition to the title of the course, what type of skills you can obtain from it, there's also a listing at the top here that shows whether it's self-paced, blended, or BILT, whether it's virtual learning. If it's blended, that means there's a combination of both. So you can see that there's e-learning involved here, a Captivate e-learning course, there's a video, but there's also a live guitar session, uh, because this is a guitar e-chord learning module. So I can see that on November 2nd that I would at attend a live session and that, that session will be unlocked once I've completed both of these items. I can see from the check mark here that I have already watched video. I just have to take the quiz and then I am eligible to unlock this live virtual classroom session on November 2nd. I also see the progression, how far I've progressed in my course from this learner dashboard, from this page, and then I can jump in and continue based on where I am in the course. So breadcrumbs are available. And I can also rate the training, as we saw earlier, that is an available option. That's all I have to talk about today about the Learner Dashboard. Have a great afternoon. Thank you for spending time with our team at Involve Media. You can find more information on our company and service offerings at involvemedia.com or by emailing us at sales at involvemedia.com.